it's round four and today we are at Alsace Village in a Renault RS01 GT3. Welcome everyone to Logistical Nightmare Racing in association with Motorsport South Africa and FIA. Today is an MSA Cup day and what we are going to do is I'm going to show you where we've come from. So it's a 12 race season and so far we've done three races. Today is going to be the fourth one. The first race was at Catalonia. Levitius, Ecobus and Wolfie took the podium. Next race was at Road Atlanta. Levitius, Wolfie and Gela took the podium. Last race was at Brands Hatch and Levitius, uh, Neil and Gela took the podium. And today is Alsace Village. Let's sh see what's it about. Uh, today is going to be 47 laps. We're expecting a fast lap in quali to be about 1 minute 50 seconds. It's going to be a 10 minute quali and a 90 minute race. Weather is going to be set to random, but no rain is expected at Alsace. Uh, all tires are supposed to be used, mediums, hards and softs, and uh, heavy damage is on. Uh, the strats you can expect from the drivers would be about 13 laps on hard, 10 laps on medium, two stints of those, and 7 laps of softs and two stints uh, of uh, those. Your second strat could be a 13 laps on hards and 3 stints of 9 laps on mediums and then 7 laps of softs at the end. And then the alternative for your third alternative strat is 2 stints of 15 laps on hards, then 10 laps on mediums, 7 laps on softs. Now this third strat is going to be one of the slower ones, but you are saving some time in the pits. And today's car is brought to you by Renault. We've got the RS01 GR3. It's a mid-engine rear-wheel drive turbo. It's got a very tail-happy 398 kilowatts. We're going to see a lot of spins today. Uh, 1.22 tons and 0 to 400 in 11.33 seconds. Let's go show you what Alsace looks like. So here's the first corner. You've got to stay on the outside for as long as possible and then uh, take a wide entry into this corner and then stay out as long as possible. Most of these corners you gotta stay uh, out uh, f uh, wide as long as possible and then uh, take a sharp turn into the corner. So you're trying to maximize your exit speeds in every single one of these corners. You got a gradual left turn here and then just when the the chevron start that's when you want to hit the brakes and then get onto the inside and let the the, the gradient of the road uh, kick you out uh, wide but you can go a little bit fa faster if you're on the inside in the lowest part of that dip this second left hander that's when you're going to uh, uh, lift off just slightly and that's where we're going to see a quite a bit of spins uh, you want to get a good exit and here you want to hit the curbs uh, and then hit the brakes when you see the curbs also getting on the inside now this particular straight uh, that's when you're gonna get a lot of uh, sideways action people getting onto that uh, st uh, cobblestones on the side of the curbs uh, and then uh, when you're approaching this corner this is where you gotta break early so this is quite a sharp turn left so it doesn't give you the f a full effect watching it on TV but when you at full speed this turn is quite sharp and now we get on to Banky Boy. Banky Boy is one of those turns where you've got to uh, uh, lift and coast a couple of times and uh, try and get a good exit on this corner uh, so that you can approach the hairpin and the hairpin is another place where people are going to be spinning and we'll show you what the hairpin looks like it's coming up now you want to hit the curbs in just the right spot so that your car doesn't twitch around uh, get onto the brakes as hard as possible get to the curb and then you want to start accelerating and now you've got a very steep incline section so here you also want to brake early get a good entry and get a fast exit onto this uh, straight because it's quite steep and uh, if you slow on the exit uh, you're gonna be very slow going up the hill and now going down the hill with a mid-engine car in Gran Turismo you've got danger and what you got to do here is brake quite early uh, get a wide entry into this curb and then you've got your final turn coming up and also wide entry uh, stay on the inside for as long as possible accelerate early just about grazing the black and white uh, sponge 
on that side and that is your lap of Alsace. Let's go take a look at the driver lineup for today. We've got an almost full lobby. We've got 14 drivers or 13 drivers in the lobby already. We're going to start off with the championship points leader, Levitius, at 1,200 points. Then you've got Gilla, Wolfie, Neil, Mac, Bridgens, Joker, Nitro Merlin, Kennels, Yaya, Ruan, uh, Scorpion, JPZVH, Mozzie, and uh, Valentino. So we got a quite a stacked grid. Uh, we're going to see some cool racing today. Uh, let's go take a look at what people are doing in practice. So we're going to switch over to the live screen. So in practice, uh, we've got uh, speed. Oh, well, at least we've got the, the speedsters, uh, Levitius, uh, setting the fastest time in practice. One minute and 50 seconds, uh, uh, 0.841. So we're definitely going to be watching out for that sort of time. And he's out on track right now uh, on his outlap. And uh, we will be looking at Gila also on soft tires. Another thing about the tire wear, your, your soft tires are going to last you uh, about uh, seven or eight laps. Uh, and then they're going to start dropping off. And that's when you're going to start seeing some spin. So we ex we're going to be following the starting crowd uh, as they do their first lap because they're going to be starting the the race on probably hard tires and they're going to be cold hard tires so it's going to be interesting to watch uh what these guys are doing let's go take a look at uh, who's on track so only four people are on track at the moment you got levitius bridgens jpzvh yaya and wolfie gets out the pits right now so he's the fifth guy on the track uh, Levitius uh, starting his first flying lap uh, of this stint. Bridgens. Uh, Bridgens is on an outlap. JPZVH is on his flying lap. So he's just going to pass sector one now. And we'll see what his sector one time is. And he's about seven tenths off on sector one already. Uh, Yaya, he's going to be finishing his outlap and starting his flying lap now. Wolfie. Still on his outlap, Lord Poopsies is on his outlap, and we've got what 13 people in the pits right now. Um, and we uh, we should be 15. So Kennels is not uh, driving with us at the moment, uh, and we'll see in a couple of minutes. So we're about two minutes away from Quali, and it's going to be a 90 minute race. So you are going to be with me for the next uh, hour and a half, maybe an hour and 15 minutes. I'm broadcasting from SMTS headquarters. And uh, what we do at SMTS is tuning races. It's uh, every Tuesday and coming up this Tuesday is our radical race uh, at uh, Barcelona. So if you like tuning, uh, head on over to SMTS and uh, check it out. But right now, LNR, MSA Cup. It's great to see an association with uh, FIA and MSA to run the series. It's going to be lasting uh, for the entire year. Uh, there's one race every month, and this is in conjunction with the eSports series. And that is uh, six races in that series, also once a month. And then the third series that LNR runs is the usual cup and that runs uh, I think every Sunday. Uh, there are a couple of gaps in the Sundays and those gaps are usually when we are racing uh, MSA events. So MSA Cup, MSA Esports and the LNR Season 1 2024 Cup. Saying how's it to our chat, uh, Kennels, how's it going? And three other viewers, uh, hope you say hi in the chat and uh, leave a like if you uh, are happy yeah, with the microphone because uh, yeah, you should be hearing me in HD at the moment and not some static crackle like Tuesday. Let's see who else is on track right now. So Wolfie is, uh, should be finishing up his Okay, so he's cl he's only halfway on his flying lap, uh, and the room is being reset. We're going to get three resets uh, before we start the quali session, 
the reset is done to reset all the timers, reset the weather s system. Uh, usually one and two is, uh, hey green spider, how's it going? Usually one or two resets is not enough. Three resets uh, seem to do the trick. I think one reset will reset the timers, but not the weather. Uh, weather is set on a 1x multiplier and uh, we will uh, be going into the night if it was a bit faster than that. But quality is uh, on. Let's go take a look at... Uh, Okay, quality is not on just yet. This is the third reset coming in and this should be it. And here we go. We've got uh, first guys out of the pits. It's going to be Levitius. Next up would be JPZVH. Gila is the next guy out of the pits. There's a little bit of uh, 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 forceful exits. Out the pits, uh, guys are very keen to get out the pits. Racing Mac, let's go take a look at everyone's livery while on the while they're on the outlap. So we start off with Levitius, uh, always with the purple and the black, looks good. Nice matte finish on the black, uh, purple shines through quite cool. Uh, next up is the VSR team, represented by Gila, and he's got the colors, and I do enjoy looking at colorful cars. Uh, and here he is uh, getting onto the dirt. Luckily, no damage. This is a heavy damage race. JP ZVH MGR colors. That's uh, black and blue at the moment. It's a very good looking car. Wolfie, also a VSR. KBR Valentino. He's got the Petronas black and green. Uh, also a very good looking uh, livery. Quite detailed. And uh, it's got uh, all the stickers that uh, are required by the league. Yeah, yeah, in his Puma livery, we've got gold and black. That looks really nice. Uh, gold and black. And you can see he's even got the SMTS logos. It's always good to see. Uh, we've got SPR represented here by Ruan. He's number 29. And this uh, Renault RS there is a real car. And... They had a series uh, that they ran using this car. It's uh, quite a it's a it's a great handling car. Uh, nobody talks about its speed, but uh, handling is the the one big selling point uh, of it. The rest of the grid are made up of Puma, Puma, VSR, Puma, and Lord Poopsy is also on his uh, own here. Uh, looks like a. Uh, Renault F1 mild 7 uh, livery reminds me of those Formula 1 cars of Fisichella uh, but he's got a 3 second penalty getting out the pits so he's serving it right now gets to serve it just uh, before he starts his flying lap and you can see everybody's tires are being used up uh, quite a bit let's take a look at Levitius he's got about 2 or 3 pixels that's about 5% tire wear that shouldn't really be too much of a problem uh, but the people that are um, heavy on their tires are gonna suffer in this race because this track chews tires for breakfast. So let's go check out the action. Let's go on board with uh, Levitius. He's the first guy out of the pits and he's one minute into his flying lap. And let's see what time he sets. We're expecting a one minute 50, uh, maybe a low 51. And uh, he is going to be entering the section with uh, Hepin and uh, keeps it in fifth gear, goes down, gets the first gear, quick upshift to second, gets a good exit and sets himself up for this uphill section. Make sure that you keep the traction on, don't slide out. Sliding is slow. It's up the crest and now it's the downhill section, last two corners. right turn got the left turn and he's gonna cross the line and what time does he set and he's got about 30 percent tire wear right now he's got a 51 a low 51 so a high 50 is possible and uh, he exits the, the the track gets into the pits and he's gonna go do another lap uh, so this was so the first lap would be his banker lap let's go take a look at uh, the other times You've got Wolfie, who's the second fastest. He's got a 51.7. Ruan, 
Aguila with a 52-8. 54-5 for Valentino. Nitro Merlin. Uh, he's got penalties on two of his... Uh, okay, no, that's cleared out. 52.3. Uh, bunching up here at the, hip, at the first turn. So that's going to compromise a couple of people's uh, flying laps. Uh, let's take a look at... What are we looking at? We're looking at Mossy. Mossy has got a 55.6. JP has got a 54. But the 54 looks like he changed tires. So he went into the pits. And this is his outlap. Yeah, yeah, also on the outlap. So most of these guys will go out on track with a harder compound because that's the the tire that they're going to use when they start the race. And uh, they'll do one outlap, come into the pits, get to softer tire, and then get out the pits. Now, what that does is that uh, it uh, uses up some of your fuel, and then when you go out, eventually you reach your f your flying lap, your car is lighter. And then you can go even faster. So I see a lot of people bunching up on this section. Oh, Ruan has a bit of a spin and that's not going to help him out because he's got front damage. He gets into the pits uh, and gets a new chassis. Levitius closing out his uh, outlap. And... Um, Let's take a look at Nitro Merlin, 52.3. Valentino, 54.5. Hasn't uh, improved on his third lap. Mossy, 55.6. Yaya, 50. Oh, Yaya's got a. Uh, looks like he's only starting his flying lap now. Yeah, he's only starting his flying lap now. So we are six and a half minutes into quality, three and a half minutes to go, and then we're going to do a 90 minute race. Punteng man, how's it going? See you guys in the chat. It's, uh, it's going to be quite an interesting race. We're expecting a couple of spins in this car. It gets a bit twitchy with this mid-engine rear-wheel drive. Let's go back to Levitius and uh, check out if he's going to improve on this lap. So he is uh, he is finishing his uh, third sector. He gets on the grass. That's not going to help him. It's going to give him a little bit of dirty tires. But he's got some slipstream with Valentino in front of him. So let's see if he can take a bit of advantage of that. Hopefully he's enough distance not to impede him. And we get to see... What's the lap time? Does he improve on a 51.0? He does not. He gets a 51.028. No, actually he does. No, he doesn't. 51.225 was his time. Let's take a look at Wolfie. Uh, he's uh, still 7 tenths down. Nitro Merlin still out there, but he's got fresh tires on his outlap. Uh, he's going to just... Oh, and he goes into the pits. Because uh, there is only one and a half minutes to go until we start racing. So it's not enough time to do an outlap and a flying lap. Which is about four minutes long. And that gives you only two times uh, or at least uh, two chances to go to a flying lap. So who will be missing? We've got Gila, Wolfie, Neil. Uh, is Neil in the race? Looks like Neil is not in the race. Okay, so Neil is not here. Uh, Bridgens, Joker, Nitro, Yaya, Ruan, Scorpion. Scorpion, I don't see Scorpion. I don't see Scorpion. Scorpion. 
So yeah, 13 drivers and our race is about to start in about half an hour and half, half a minute. Uh, it's gonna be a nice eventful spin of a race and hopefully the commentator's curse doesn't uh, rear its ugly head. Puma Mac hanging out, only 10 seconds to go. Everybody's in the pits getting the, the race tires set up. Looks like Levitius might start on mediums. Uh, Yaya will start on mediums. Everybody else is on hards. JPZVH is going to start on softs. And here we go. Uh, the race is about to begin. We're going to be following uh, car number five which is Mac into the race and I'll be hovering over the the replay save button because uh, we're expecting a couple of spins and here we go looks all clean so far Back of the grid, a little bit of contact with JPZVH, gets a bit sideways. Oh, and Valentino, first one out to spin, luckily no damage. He's got cold medium tires, uh, gets his uh, traction control on. So first victim, Puma Mossy looks all clean. A little bit of contact with Bridgens, but uh, everyone survives, so it's all good. And that's about it. The rest of the crew survived. So let's take a look at tires. So we know Levitius and, is, and Wolfie are starting on mediums. Nitro Merlin's on hards. Gila's on hards. Rwan's on hards. Uh, Mac. JP is on the soft tires. So he's going to be making his way through the grid. And uh, not uh, trying to waste his tires. These soft tires I think will last you about seven or eight laps. Uh, and then they start to drop off quite badly. Uh, next up is uh, Ruan on hards, Mac on hards, Joker, uh, yeah, Joker on hards, uh, Yaya is on mediums, we've got Popsies on hards, Bridgent on hards, uh, mediums for Valentino. So, let's go and uh, refresh that. Right, there we go. So, Levitius is leading by three quarters of a second. Wolfie is out of his slipstream. Both of these guys are on medium tires. Uh, Wolfie getting a little bit close and getting into the slipstream. he's out of the slipstream again so Levitius gets a really great exit out of turn one Nitro Merlin let's go follow on the broadcast camera JPZVH is up to fourth place so he's making up quite a bit of space I think he made up uh, a couple of positions there which is really good to see so out. And Valentino's on third place. Where is Neil? Neil's not here. Yep. Gila's down to twelfth place. Yeah, yeah. Open eighth. Yeah, it's up in eighth. Uh, Valentino. Okay, let's get rid of that. And we stick to Gran Turismo's uh, telemetry. So, looking at the uh, map, uh, Wolfie and Levitius are chasing each other down. We're going to stick with these guys for a while and uh, make sure the racing's nice and clean. 
but also make sure that it's some tough racing it's always good to see uh, a hard fight right in the front Wolfie following closely. I don't think he's going to try and overtake. I think Wolfie's strat would be to uh, save his tires, save his fuel. Um, uh, but I don't think fuel is such an issue right now. Fuel, fuel wear rate is like three times. So it's not too bad. Uh, your, your fuel tank will last about two stints. Um, or two tire stints at least. And... Um, if you're sitting behind someone, you're going to be using your front tires a lot more than you should. So I think overtaking is probably a better strat than uh, sitting behind someone. So Wolfie is dropping off just ever so slightly, but then gaining in other sectors. So we'll follow them uh, when they get a bit closer. Let's take a look at JP. He's made his way right up the grid. He's up into third now. Nitro Merlin on his hard tires, so he's got some time to go. JP's on the soft tires, so he's got like half his tires worn out already. Ruan, hard tires. Quite a big gap between him and Nitro Merlin. Uh, then we've got a bunch of cars here. We've got Mac, Joker, Yaya, and Lord Poopsies, and Bridgens. So a five way fight for P6. So that's going to get interesting in about a lap or two. Uh, we can see Yaya and the Joker getting close to each other. They're almost side by side. Not going to happen on this round exactly. Let's go back to the leader, Levitius and Wolfie. Uh, the gap remains constant. And it's uh, not... Uh, it's not decreasing fast enough. We would like to see some action. Let's go back to Joker and Yaya. So Joker and Yaya are half a second away from each other. And uh, they are in the same team, so they are going to be fighting. I don't think there's any team orders in this uh, series. Gila, three seconds away from Yaya, Valentino, uh, Valentino had that spin uh, at the start in the first corner, uh, but he manages to get up to P10, so he's overtaken Lord Popsies, Bridgens, and Mossy. So, Mossy, Bridgens, and Lord Popsies, uh, Mossy, Bridgens, Yaya, uh, Joker and Mac are all in the Puma racing team. And uh, we've seen Yaya and Joker getting quite close to each other. Let's go see if anything's happening with uh, Wolfie and Levitius. And uh, nothing's happening. So the race is settling down right now. I see a spin. Yaya has a bit of a spin. unfortunate and we see Yaya has picked up a little bit of damage to his front bumper and front wheel so he's gonna have a bit of a tough time he might go into the pits quite early uh, get that repaired get rid of his medium tires uh, get onto a different set of tires because all three tire sets are uh, all three compounds are, are compulsory uh, so he might uh, try and do that we'll see no he stays out he's gonna keep driving and that's going to be about four or five seconds slower than his normal time so he was doing a 156 we'll see now uh, at the end of this lap what's his lap time uh, looking like let's go back to the start of the grid Wolfie is still in the same place Joker is no longer fighting with Yaya but Joker is getting close to Mac Aguila just staying in the shadows Valentino, Yaya is right now in 10th place, he was in 7th, Lord Poopsies, Bridgens, and Mossy. So 13 drivers in race 4. 
of the LNR MSA Cup. There's a ton of races uh, coming up. There's races uh, once a month for MSA Cup races, MSA Esport races, and then once a week for the regular MS uh, regular LNR Championship. Wolfie still in, in the Levitius' slipstream. And here we see Gila has overtaken Joker. So Gila making his way up the field. He caught up quite quickly. He was three seconds away. So it must have been a mistake. Uh, we'll look for damage. Joker doesn't have any damage, so that looks good. Uh, Valentino gets a bit of a sideways spin. The next battle looks like this one, yeah, Lord Poopsies and Yaya. There shouldn't be too much trouble for Lord Poopsies because Yaya has got a bit of damage. And let's take a look at Yaya's time. His time doesn't look too bad. He might have been stuck in traffic earlier on. But Lord Poopsies is really close. You see Yaya getting just a bit of, or Valentino getting some sideways. And that's what we're talking about, is that this track and this car likes to go sideways. Who spun out? Nitro Merlin spins out. Oh, and he's got a bit of damage on his front bumper. Oh, that's not good to see. Lord Poopsie is now battling with uh, Yaya. Lord Poopsie versus Valentino. And then he's going to catch up to Yaya. Going into the hairpin. Lord Poopsie doesn't do a dive, but he's going to go around wide to see if he can get a good exit. Yaya battling with Nitro Merlin. Both of them have damage to the front. Yaya has got a little bit more damage. And JP is in the pit. So his tires lasted him about seven laps. This is the end of lap seven. No, end of lap six. So six laps and your soft tires are done. And we've got uh, the damaged group. Lord Poopsies needs to get out of this uh, crowd as fast as he can, because both of the guys in front have damage. No, nope, Valentino doesn't have damage. I'm thinking of Nitro Merlin who has gone back but he's gone into the pits to repair his damage and change over to medium tires Mossy, Levitius and Wolfie still having that uh, uh, three quarters of a second gap between them and we'll be following them following them for a little bit longer than right now because their tires are going to start dropping off because both of them have uh, about three quarters of their tires used up you see wolfie getting a bit sideways on that final turn so now we're looking at some danger zone Very close, 
You almost did it. Almost did a dive. And he goes on the grass. He's going to have some dirty tires. Luckily, he doesn't get any damage. Oh, he's going to be nursing these tires for the next half a lap. Oh, he shouldn't push too hard. It's just you're following somebody in a high aer aerodynamic car. Yeah, it's you're going to get understeer and then you're going to have those slides. Uh, it's not good to see. We want to see some battling, but let's give them some time to to catch up. So the gap right now between Levitius and Wolfie is 2.7 seconds. We'll follow them in a couple of laps. Let's go take a look at uh, what's going on down the down the grid. See some battling going on here. Lord Poopsies finally overtakes uh, Nitro Merlin and Mossy. No, he doesn't. He's supposed to overtake uh, Valentino and Joker. So, Moss so Lord Poopsies actually. Okay, Lord Poopsies got damage. That's why he's gone to the back of the grid. I think we may have missed a Lord Poopsies spin. Bridgen's up next, also got some damage. Uh, JP got a fresh set of hard tires so he's done his soft stint now he's doing his hard stint Valentino and now it's Gila versus Yaya Yaya has still got damage so let's go follow Gila and uh, see where well, let's follow from Yaya's area and see where Gila does his overtake Okay, so yeah, yeah, just gives him space and lets him through. Let's go driving. Doesn't want to waste his time. Gila up into sixth. Joker in fifth place. Half of his uh, hard tires are used. Mac. We got Ruan, Wolfie, and Levitius. So that gap between Wolfie and Levitius was 2.6 seconds, and now it's 3.9. So Wolfie dropping back quite a bit because of the because of that spin. So he's just a bit cautious right now, making sure sure he doesn't uh, do it again. But looking at both of the tires, they both gonna come into the pits right now. Get rid of those medium tires. Both Levitius getting a bit twitchy there. Uphill section, final two corners, and then they're gonna come into the pits, get rid of their medium tires, and we'll see what they put on. So it's 3.9 seconds getting into the pits. We'll see what they do when they're getting out the pits. Both of them come in. Still plenty of tires. Mac, Joker, Gila. Yaya still hasn't repaired his damage and his times don't look too bad. I mean, he is about two seconds a lap slower. It's not too bad. Yaya getting, I mean, uh, Valentino getting into the pits. Get rid of his mediums. JP's FVH still on his uh, second set, which is the hards right now. Bridgens also with damage. Lord Poopsies with damage. Nitro Merlin repaired his damage. And Valentino's out the pits with some new tires. And Mossy's right there bringing up the rear. Now, what happened to Wolfie? So Wolfie has come out of the pits into traffic. But Levitius is uh, far and away. Okay, so this is what happened. Levitius only filled up to half of his fuel tank. So he could put on soft tires and do a soft stint. And Wolfie, who's overtaking Mac right now, uh, is on medium tires again. He's on a slower tire. The mediums should be about a second per lap slower. So Wolf is going to go for a much longer stint. 
and we'll see Levitius come in on lap 17, maybe 16. But Wolfie will only come in on lap 20. So the gap between Levitius and uh, Wolfie right now is about 14 seconds. And Levitius only has half a tank. So Wolfie has got a quarter tank more fuel than Levitius. Ruan is up into his uh, currently in P2, but that's because he owes us some pit stops. And Gila. So Gila overtook the Joker. And he's going to be charging for Mac right now. Gila's on the soft tire. Uh, did he serve his pits? Yes, he did go do a pit stop. And he's closing in on Mac. Side by side. Entering this corner. No, they're not. But they are side by side. Exiting the corner. Killers on the inside, Max not gonna fight him, gives him the space. Some good racing. There's no point in fighting somebody if they're on a different strat. You're just wasting your time and their time by defending. It's good racecraft. Yeah yeah. Finally gonna come into the pits at the end of this lap fix his damage and get some new tires because these tires are well used he's going to be driving on the rims right now JPZVH uh, on his hard tires he's still got a long stint ahead of him Poopsies Legends Nitro Merlin Does Wolfie gain anything? No, he doesn't. So Gila's on a charge right now. He is one second away from Wolfie. And this is uh, this is his fourth lap. And I know that the soft tires only last about six laps. fuel but he's still got a lot of tires so he he's really good on his tires and he's consistent if you look at his lap times he's doing a 55 every, almost every single lap I mean he did a 54 9 in one of his laps so Ruan is doing really well in this race and Gila's gap is still one second. Next battle here is uh, Joker and Mac. And then we see Nitro Merlin and Bridgens. Bridgens needs uh, fuel. But he's been consistent in his lap times, doing 56s. But uh, just a little bit of damage on lap 3. Yeah, yeah, finally gets his new tires and repairs his damage. But he's doing a hard stint on an eighth of a tank of fuel. So he's going to do like two laps of hard, hards. And uh, he's going to do soft, soft, soft till the end, probably. He might do mediums, mediums. comes into the pits and he's done six laps race settling in a lot of battles going on
legends finally getting into the pits to repair his damage. Yeah, yeah, getting rid of his hard tires after one lap. So yeah, yeah, did I think soft tires at the start. Let's see where Gila comes out. Gila is doing another stint of soft tires. Gila's on a charge to get to the front of the grid and change his tyres, drop back a bit, put on some soft tyres, get to the front of the grid. Joker and Mac, they're on their long strat, long game. And the gap between Levitius and Wolfie at the moment is 18 seconds. Uh, Wolfie's lap times was... Uh, in the high 52s and now they are 53s. Looks like he had a bit of a slow lap on his 57s but that's what those uh, spins. And then he changed his tires. Uh, he's back into 52s on medium. So he started on mediums and he's staying on medium so it's consistent with his 52s. Levitis is uh, setting the fastest lap with his 51.5. Point six. So it's about one second a lap he's uh, increasing his lead just by being on softer tires and uh, a lighter fuel tank. Levity is getting a bit on the grass. Luckily he keeps it on the track. How's Wolfie doing? Space. So Levitius might come in to get new tires and fill up some fuel. It looks like uh, it's gonna be doing a couple of stints on soft tires but we'll find out as he heads into the pits no he doesn't he stays out for one more lap with his light blinking so he might do a load of fuel saving on this lap his last lap was a 52.4 so he was a second slower than normal so he might be doing a little bit of fuel saving at the moment or he may may have made a mistake saying how's it to everyone in the chat uh, if you're enjoying not hearing static and noises uh, leave a like <laughs> how's it going uh, Dino Kennels Puntang Man um, Green Spider and we've got uh, Gaps staying constant between Levitius and Wolfie, 19 seconds. Let's take a look if there's any battles on the track. At the moment, it doesn't look like it. Okay, everybody's uh, quite far away from each other. We see a battle brewing here between Bridgens, Valentino and Yaya. So Bridgens out of the pits, repair his damage, got some fuel, got some tires. Is in P9 with mediums. Valentino, he's got uh, mediums as well. Yaya's on the soft tire. Yaya's gonna catch up to these guys pretty quickly. Nitro Merlin having a bit of a nightmare race, getting damage with that uh, spin. We see Levitius coming into the pits. Nitro Merlin just uh, got out the pits now as well. So he's on medium tyres. I'll see as well. He's got fresh mediums. See 
Wolfie taking the lead at the moment. Lovetti is filling up to 75%, which means he's going to do a medium stint. So he's done medium, soft, mediums. And Wolfie has done uh, medium, medium. Gila has done, I think, hard, soft, soft. Has done, I think, soft mm, and hard. But Mr. Consistency over here, Ruan, is uh, on some fresh mediums. Can hear a little bit of thunder rolling. Take a look at how quickly uh, the gap changes between these two at the front. I see a pack of cars. Are they having a battle? It's Bridgens, Valentino, and Yaya. So, battle for ninth. Yaya is on the soft tire, so he needs to get in front of these two as fast as he can. Everyone around the track has spread out quite a bit. There's not a lot of battling going on. This gap looks consistent. JP goes onto the grass on that final turn. So it looked like a battle was brewing between Rowan and JP. That's going to be quenched for a second. So we're following Valentino, who's being chased by Yaya, and he's doing the chasing of Bridgens. Get a bit of some sliding action on uh, on those last two turns. Who's going downhill, hitting the brakes and turning the wheel on a mid-engine car? Not the best idea. Almost letting Valentino through. Valentino dropping back just a little bit and that gives Yaya an opportunity to do a bit of a lunge on Valentino. Will he do it? Will he hold back? Take a look at what's happening at the front, just for a second. 4.3 seconds. And keep an eye on the track map.
are getting really close to Bridgens. They're almost side by side. They are definitely side by side right now. Valentino's gonna have the inside. He makes the move. Does he make it stick? Because Bridgens is gonna have the inside for the next corner. Valentino, no, he doesn't. He just loses out. Gets a bit slidey. Almost loses out to Yaya as well. Now the gap between these two is like half a second between Bridgens and Yaya. Valentino doesn't attempt it again in the next corner. Wolfie in the pits. Valentino attempts it now. It's a bit of a dive, but he's on the outside. Keep it together. He's going to have the inside of this turn. Oh, Bridgens is going to fight him for it. Nice job done. Valentino is ahead of uh, Bridgens. Wolfie is on the soft tires now. Lovatis is on mediums. So I think Wolfie owes us a hard stint. And I think Lovatis has done his hard stint already. So Levitius has done hards, mediums and softs, so he's done it all, all his tyres. Wolfie owes us hard tyres. Ruan, Mr. Consistency. So we are 35 minutes into this race, another hour of racing to go. get some fuel. Gila's down in seventh place. So he's on, I think, his third or his fourth set of soft tires. I think it's his third set. Little poopsies, looking fine there. Needs a little bit of fuel. Bridgens uh, is, is, is ahead of Valentino, so Valentino lost out on that position. Ooh, what happened? Lord Poopsies. On the final, uh, final sector, gets a spin, gets a little bit of damage. Oh, he's going to be kicking himself. Final turn. I think now is the time to get into the pits, repair your damage, get some new tires. That's what he's going to do. Oh, unfortunate. JP's VH gets rid of his uh, hard tires. Nitro Merlin still out there. Soft tires, brand new set. So he'll be finishing his uh, first flying lap with the new set. One always consistent, keeps it clean. Mac in P4, Joker in P5, Gila up into P6. He was P7 a little earlier. I uh, wonder what happened to Valentino. I mean, he overtook Bridgens like one lap ago. Yaya is out of tires. He needs to get rid of his tires. And he's got too much fuel for the tires that he's using. I think he may 
have forgotten to stop refueling. We'll follow him as he makes his way to the pits to put on some new tyres. Valentino battling once again with Bridgens. Gila, a new set of softs. Joker, Mac, Rowan. Rowan's nice and consistent in P3. Wolfie now getting the gap down. Wolfie sets the fastest lap time 151.3. So he looks like he's catching up to Levitius, but Levitius is on mediums. And some uh, breaking information coming in from the chat uh, saying that uh, Levitius is using his controller because he's wheel disconnected. Oof, I hope he's able to restart his wheel once he gets into the pits the next time around. Because the controller is just going to use tires like you can't believe. Controller is extremely heavy on tires. Joker. Killer. Pigeons and Valentino. These guys have, uh, have been battling for... I would say like 16 laps but Valentino needs some fuel JPZVH Nitro Merlin Mossy Popsies Overtaking Mossy, gets into the downhill section, last two turns, job done. So North Popsy is, is on mediums, Mossy is on mediums. Okay, so this is a race for position. Yeah, yeah, it's got some fresh tires at the moment. So the gap between Levitius and Wolfie was 8 seconds and now it's uh, 4.9 seconds. So Levitius is uh, getting closer and closer to P2, or at least P2 is getting closer and closer to P1. That might explain uh, the controller issue. Wolfie on a purple sector. Oh, purple lap. He set the fastest lap once again. Now the gap is 3.8 seconds. So one whole second got taken out of that lead. Oh, Levati is going out. Hey Dean, how's it going? How did your race go? Uh, why don't you come join me in the commentary booth? The gap is now 2.3 seconds. Okay, so we're going to be following Wolfie as he gets closer and closer to the leader. have a battle on our hands. He's on soft tires for four laps, no three laps. So he's got three more laps of life on his tires. Levitius might need to go pop into the, into the pits to get some fuel. But we'll see what happens now on this, this lap. Well done on finishing P2. Wolfie 
One second gap. Whoa, Wolfie, keep it together. Really twitchy on those last two turns. Valetius stays out. He's got a blinking fuel light. So he might be doing a little bit of fuel saving right now. He's got his hazards on. He's not going to fight Wolfie, I think. Off. Oh, they both get a bit sideways. Everyone's in the pits at the moment. We'll feel on the outside of this turn. Side by side, a little bit of contact. Everyone survives. No damage. If he keeps that position. I, mean, I don't think Levitius is going to fight Wolfie for it. Right, let's go take a look at Gela up into P3 now. So he over to, oh well Ruan's got some new tires and he's on his outlap. got a different strat so the positions are changing quite a bit got Mac Joker JP ZVH Lord Nitro Merlin needs some fuel Lord Popsies Yaya or mediums Which uh, wheel is absolutely bulletproof when it comes to reliability? The good old G29. But he finally comes into the pits, get some fuel, get some tires. Hopefully, he switched his wheel back on and it works. Definitely need some tires. There's gonna be a dodgy lap coming out of these extremely worn out fronts and rears. Wolfie's got absolutely no rear tires. Uh, this, is uh, this is extremely dangerous driving. We'll see what it looks like uh, on the final two turns. Going up the hill it looks fine. Right, now coming down the hill, mid-engine, use tires, keep it together. Together, he's going to be in the pits. We'll see where Levitius uh, is on track when Wolfie comes out. already and is about six seconds ahead yep is about five six seconds ahead of uh, Levitius so Wolfie's on mediums again uh, Levitius is on mediums both of them have like, pretty fresh new tires and three quarters of a tank of fuel so that battle will uh, come into play in a while 
And the fittiest goes on the grass, goes but sideways. Oh, it must be tough driving with a controller if you've been on a wheel for so long. Uh, Wolfie. Let's go take a look at Mr. Consistency, who goes off track. Get some dirty tires. Ruan, what are you doing? Let's kill her through. Kill us on the soft tire, Ruan's on mediums. And Mac overtakes Ruan. Ruan's not going to fight it because he's going to take a few more corners to clear out the dirt on his tyres. Joker about 4 seconds behind Ruan. JPZVH on mediums. And traction control. It's a good choice. Lord Popsies. Yeah, yeah. Valentino. Um, Bridgen's down in 12th. Okay, so he got a pit stop. Valentino's got front bumper damage. Yep. That's front bumper damage. So that explains why he's dropping back a bit. Nitro Merlin are going to overtake him in the next two corners. Too close, but he's gonna have a little bit of understeer by following another car. Fifty minutes of racing has been done, and we've got another forty minutes to go. Let's take a look at the leaders. You got Wolfie currently leading seven point one seconds. Ahead of Levitius. Both of them got fresh tires, both of them on mediums. Uh, I think Wolfie is just slightly newer tires, but Wolfie owes us a hard stint. I think Levitius has done all his tires already. Uh, Gilla, he's been doing a ton of soft stints. So I think he owes us a hard uh, stint or a medium stint. We, uh, one of them. Ruan has been consistent, he has uh, had an off-track excursion but he got no damage and he's been consistent uh, for almost all of this race. Mac also been out of trouble for most of this race. He's in P5, Joker, P6, JP, P7, Yaya and P8. Lord Popsies, everybody's got a huge gap between them. Let's go take a look at this battle drawing. And this is Mac versus Ruan. So Mac and Ruan are on mediums. And they are eight tenths away from each other. So Mac is behind Ruan. I'm getting a bit sideways. This car loves to slide on that final two corners. Wolfie is now up to 11, almost 12 seconds. It was 6 seconds about 2 laps ago. It's unfortunate that uh, it's due to hardware issues. So that's something you want to see in uh, modern racing sims. Uh, Ruan and Mac. The battle is brewing. But it's not there just yet.
taking a look at the chat on YouTube. Uh, I think people should uh, put in your predictions of who's going to win, or at least the podium. Right now you're looking at uh, Wolfie, Levitius and Gilla. But Wolfie and Gilla owes us a set of tires. I think Levitius has done all his tires. Juan has been consistent. Gila's doing a ton of pit stops to get rid of his uh, worn soft tires. Mac and Joker have been consistent and they've had their battles. Looks like JP is going to owe us uh, some new tires soon. His mediums are almost completely worn out. It's going to be. Uh, it's it's gonna be completely worn out by the end of this lap at least. It's got about two pixels to go. Nitro Merlin had a troubled start to this race. Had a, had a spin, crashed, got some damage, and had to do a couple of laps with some damage. Same with Yaya. Bridgens had some damage for a couple of laps. So did Lord Poopsies and Valentino. Mossy keeping some consistent laps. Wonder what happened to. Okay, 23 and 24 looks like it was a pit stop. teams we've got in the lobby is VSR, SBR, Puma, um, I think KBR, yep, KBR, uh, Puma, MGR, and then Levitius and Pupsies are independents. Gela's about to run out of fuel. And we've got a prediction. Levi, Wolfie and Gila. Okay, interesting. Oh, my prediction is Wolfie, Levitius, and Ruan. Oopsies is on the cover MGR. But he's not running any MGR colors or stickers. He's got the Fisichella livery. Where did uh, DC finish? Yeah, yeah. Gela on his, I don't know, 400th pit stop. Does he stay on softs? Looks like he's gonna stay on softs. Of stint. Do six laps, go in the pits. Do six laps, go in the pits. It's gonna get a uh, repetitive strain injury. Joker. Nice and consistent laps. Same with Mac. Mac's got some pace on him. Almost at the one hour mark, and uh, that means we've got 30 more minutes of racing to go. 
Right now the, there's 13 drivers, uh, lobby looks smooth, no one disconnected which is good, I think uh, Levi's wheel disconnected. Uh, but the rest of the track map, I don't see any battles going on. Everyone's spread out quite a bit. So that probably means I can switch to autopilot. And let the machines take over while I hydrate. Oh, well done to DC for P4. is going to be in P6 and he's going to be doing a whole lot of uh, pit stops this uh slow down so much so almost done with his mediums but he still got fuel well this is JP now yeah, very strange Lord Poopsies Bridgens in the pits Valentino at the back with Mossy the gap between these two. Blue flag. I'm gonna go Bridgens and Mossy. Having a bit of a battle. Wolfie is now 28 seconds ahead of Ruan. What happened to Levitius? He was just slow and he's gone into the pits. Get some fuel, get some tires. Now what is Mr. Consistency? Ruan 52s, 53s. Always consistent times with Ruan. There's 47 laps that's expected, so we've got 14 more laps to go and 27 more minutes. Race has settled in, lots of gaps between everyone. I think there's a battle brewing here. We'll see in Yaya.
Kayla up in P2. But he owes us a tire compound. Let's take a look. He's back on soft tires. So we've got 14 laps to do. He's gonna do this stint on softs, the next stint on softs. Or he might, and then like one lap or two laps on hards. Or he might do this on softs and then the next one on hards and he's done. So that he is down in P4 with a controller issue. Or at least a wheel disconnect issue. Wolfie in the pits. Let's see what uh, tire Wolfie puts on. Fill up to a full tank, so that looks like a hard tire. Uh, he stays on mediums. It's a lot of fuel for mediums. Let's take a look at Gela. He's halfway through his many stints of uh, soft tires. Let's go follow the one on bumper cam. That was his first corner. So he's turn one, so we might get a full lap out of this. He's on a soft tire. I think this is his first soft tire stint. And he's done his out lap. We're gonna get an extremely quick lap out of the one right now. And he's got a purple sector in the first sector. Oh, I think we're in for a gorgeous lap. This is a masterclass in how to drive. I'll say it's in a Renault RSO1 GR3. This is all of the track get to the bank of Banky Boy. He's in the middle of the road. Nice and clean. Clips the curb, gets some turn in. Heading towards the hairpin section and he's a purple sector. So two purple sectors. That final sector you got the hairpin, got the uphill section. That's slidey, but it doesn't lose too much time on that. In the middle of the road, break early. Get a nice turn in. Go wide, get a nice turn in for the final turn, and he's going to cross the line. So Wolfie did a 51.3. Ruan's got a 51.5. So that's one second faster than his fastest lap but uh, two tenths down on Wolfie so he's lost uh, all his uh, speed in the final sector we'll take a look at what else is going on in the track uh, let's start with Wolfie uh, he is 14 seconds ahead of Gela Gela is uh, almost done with this stint many stints of uh, soft tires that is down in P4 yes kennels perfect timing is having a bit of a battle let's follow Mac and Levitius for a while so Levitius getting a bit slidey let's follow Mac Hello, 
Mac from this angle. This is on mediums. Mac is on softs. Okay, so it's not exactly a fair fight, but it will be entertaining. Giller on his 20th pit stop. It's not 20th, it's, it's probably his fifth. What tires does he put on? Because we've got about 10 laps to go. Another soft stint. Wolfie getting rid of back markers. And Levitius just getting away from Mac. So we're not exactly going to have a battle on our hands. Let's go take a look at what else is going on in the track. So we've got. Gila on his uh, final soft stint and then maybe owes us a hard stint for like uh, four laps or so. We've got uh, 20 minutes of racing to go. Joker, nice and consistent with his uh, soft... Uh, not? No! Looks like he's uh, had a bit of a slow lap 36. I wonder what happened. JP Nice and consistent laps on his mediums Nitro Merlin had a bit of a rough start to the starting of this race, but he's running consistently right now uh, Doing mediums Bridgens are almost out of fuel with these soft tires uh, Having some quick laps uh, Coming up, his, his last lap was the quickest he's ever done, 52 triple nine. Valentino making a P10. Not a lot of consistency to his lap times. It's all over the place. Bridgens, I wonder what happened to Bridgens. More damage getting out the... Getting out of that situation. Oof. That's rough. turn just before Banky Boy. Okay, so it looks like he might have just gone out a bit wide. Yeah, yeah. Oopsies, about to get left. By Levitius. And finally, we've got on the grid P13 Mossy. Uh, uh, not very consistent. He's doing 224, 59s, 56s, having a bit of a rough race. Wolfie just extending his lead to 17 seconds from Rowan. Gave us one lap of 51.5 and then his next two laps is 52.5s. battle that's going on right now using the track map I don't see it uh, lots of uh, back markers being overtaken uh, JP needs to get some new tires because his tires are done and he does JP's in the pits. Yeah, about to 
to get left. Valentino. Legends about to get lapped by Juan. And he gets lapped really quickly. Issue with that uh, overtake. Oopsies goes wide, gives lots of space to Levitius. Levitius, ooh, just doesn't see it soon enough. Goes almost into the back of Popsies. Nice to see the drivers give lots of space when they see blue flags. Wolfie extending his lead. It's now up to 18 seconds ahead of Rowan. Rowan owes us uh, a pit stop because he's almost out of fuel. The video is getting all sorts of sideways. Mostly consistent. I mean, actually very consistent. So he does 52 low 52s almost every single lap, and then on the sixth lap he comes into the pits, and when he gets up, gonna do a consistent 52s. Fifteen minutes of racing to go. Andrew Merlin in P7. JP gave us uh, some new tyres uh, on his pit stop, and he's on mediums now. That should take him through to the next, uh, well, to the end of the race. Because we've got 15 minutes to go. That should take us to lap 46, 47. 46 or 47. Bridgen's got new tires. Okay, so that explains why he's so low down. He was a lot higher up. Vitius in the pits, Rowan in the pits. see what uh, Rowan and Levitius put on their cars because they just came out of the pits Levitius on hard tires Rowan on soft tires interesting I thought Levitius has done all his hard stints do seven laps of hard stints now. The one overtaking back markers. A fresh set of soft tires. So I think Rowan has given us all his tires and now he's doing the softs which will take him to the end of the race. Leave a like if you uh, uh, if you dislike noise and static on a microphone. We've got about almost ten minutes to go of this race. Um, 
And as it stands, your leaders are Wolfie, Gilla, Levitius, and then Ruan. Um, the race has settled down. There's uh, big gaps between everybody, so there's not a lot of battling going on. If there is, I'll go find it and I'll show it to you. Looks like uh, there's something here. That might be... Okay, so that's Ruan and Levitius. So Ruan on the soft tires, Levitius on the hard tires. And I think we got an overtake on our hands. So 1.4 seconds. Let's take a look at uh, what the gap is at the end of sector 1. Now it is one second. We'll take a look. Uh, it's well, it's now seven tenths. So Ruan gaining three tenths in that one corner. I'll keep my finger on the replay button just in case we want to save it. some of that slipstream he needs to get out of the dirty air uh, otherwise he's wasting his soft tires now they get into the hairpin section Levi doing some defending it's all good now they're gonna go up the hill one goes quite wide takes a wide line Gila is in the pits I think Gila's gonna come out of the pits right in front of this battle second last turn final turn one is 0.6 behind Levitius Gila gets up the pits he's gonna have cold tires so here we go P234 Gila doesn't uh, put up too much of a fight with these cold tires. Let's see what Gila puts on. Another set of soft tires. Oh, Gila! What's going on there? Put over the slide with uh, Ruan. So good. Uh, everyone survived. Let's keep following Ruan. Gap is now half a second. They're gonna be heading into the banking section. Gap is now one tenth. The one's gonna be on the outside of this turn, but inside of the next turn on the hairpin section. down just a little bit too much some contact both of them survive Levitius retains his position Gila's in the battle Juan takes the position job done now you've got Levi and Gila side by side into the final section the final two turns Gila's on the inside Levitius uh, has a little bit of contact with Gila and no harm done, no damage, everyone survives, so we good close racing. Let's follow Gila's on softs and Levitius, well Gila's on fresh softs, one lap uh, of life in them and Levitius is on hard tires. follow Gila on board and see what he sees. He's getting a good exit into that turn. That puts Gila just slightly off so he breaks a bit later than he should. Exception. Bring to bank. 
banking banking term. Okay, that's got the inside. Yeah, it looks like it's job done. Leva is three tenths behind Gila. So well done to Gila. So Ruan up into P2. I think he's used all his tires. Not too sure about Gila. I think he owes us one stint of, I think, hearts. But uh, we'll find out in the, uh, in the closing screen if, um, if there's any penalties being awarded if he, or if he used all his tires. Uh, Levi is in P4, Mac in P5, Puma, Joker in P6, JP P7, Nitro in P8, Valentino in P9. Yeah, yeah, in P10, Bridgens in P11, Poopsies in P12, Mossy in P13. So Wolfie leading by about 29 seconds. That's a huge gap uh, for Ruan. And we're about four minutes away from the close of this race. Gila just streaking ahead. Levi, four. And Mac in mediums is about 18 seconds away from Levi, so there's not going to be a lot of battling for that. Let's take a look at uh, Ruan and Gila. So I think the battle is going to happen between Ruan and Gila, but we'll see what it looks like. Right now it's about 2.2 seconds. And we'll see in a couple of corners if that goes down with 2.0 seconds. Gila's on a charge and he's closing in on Ruan. Two laps to go. And about two and a half minutes to go. Much has changed between the gap between Gila and Ruan. It stays at 1.9. Not a lot of. Let's go take a quick look at the rest of the grid if there are any battles going on. Let me look at the gaps. So, Wolfie to Ruan 26 seconds. Uh, Ruan to Gila 1.9. Gila to Levitius 3. Lavetius to Mac is 18, Mac to Joker is 18, Joker to JP is 1.4 and Nitro Merlin has another spin and hits a wall and gets some damage and now he tries to get out of that by reversing and then damages the rear of his car. That is unfortunate. So he's lost uh, quite a bit of time but he's in P8, Valentino in P9 uh, is 31 seconds behind Nitro so Nitro is not going to be losing a position to that P10 is Yaya it's about to get lapped Bridgens in P11 that's seven seconds away from Yaya uh, Popsy is 17 seconds away from Bridgens and Mossy 42 seconds behind Popsy so quite a lot of massive gaps between everyone taking a look at the main battle that's expected uh, in the closing stages of this race we've got about one minute to go uh, and the guys should be crossing the line now to start their final lap Gila is two seconds away from Ruan he was a bit closer but heading into the uphill section he touched some grass and uh, got a bit slow Here we are in the final lap. Got about 20 seconds of racing to go. And 
your podium is going to be Wolfie, Ruan, Gila. Well, Ruan and Gila are going to still battle it out for the rest of this uh, lap. Because we are now at 90 minutes. This is the final lap. If uh, everybody else is in the final lap, so Mossy crosses the line to finish his lap, and the next person that's going to finish their lap, uh, who's going to finish their lap? It's going to be Nitro Merlin, who's had a bit of a nightmare of a race. Next up would be Valentino that crosses the line. Then Puma Bridgens. Let's go take a look at Wolfie and the last two corners of this track with a fresh set of hearts. So he went into the pits to get some new tires to complete the use of all his tires or all the compounds and he crosses the line. So well done to Wolfie for taking P1. Gela overtakes Ruan and we missed it. Um, in the final two corners because Ruan's got no tires so Gila takes a P2 well done to Gila well done to Ruan Ruan's a really close uh, co consistent laps next up is P4 Levitius had a bit of a hardware issue on his side crosses the line and the final person to cross the line will be Mac And that would make it uh, the entire grid. So Wolfie Gila Ruan takes the podium. And we'll take a look at the results. Just to see if everybody's used their tires. Looks like they did. So that's all good. Let's go take a look at uh, the championship points as it stands. Uh, right now, you've got uh, Levitius still leading the charge. Uh, you've got then Wolfie, Gila, Neil, Nitro Merlin, Joker, Racing Mac, Ruan. Ruan getting some valuable points right now. Uh, Bridgens, Yaya, JP, Scorpion, Mossy, Valentino uh, getting some good points in this race. So well done to the podium. And uh, that would be. Uh, um, Wolfie, Gila and Ruan and let's take a look if uh, we can see any grid changes uh, hope it worked so yeah as it stands uh, Levitius was leading all the way and then he has a bit of a wobble and loses out quite a bit and you can see Wolfie uh, started off in P2 stayed in P2 for quite a long time and ended up in uh, P1 uh, halfway through the race uh, that's when they swapped positions and then uh, green and yellow that's Gila and Ruan so Ruan is nice and consistent uh, Gila you can see go up and down because he did many many stints of soft so I, what I like about this race is that everyone was on a completely different strat and they all made it work uh, to the end which is really good to see let's go take a look at the next races that's uh, coming up so SMT yes yes we've got our next race coming up this Tuesday that's a radical uh, cup uh, so, so if you like tun tuning races uh, and tuning cars uh, come join SMTS and check it out uh, radical will be at Barcelona uh, next up would be team versus team for LNR at Bathurst uh, on the 14th of April and then on 21st of April will be team versus team at Trial Mountain so hope you join us uh, for those races uh, once again I've, uh, I've been uh, Mitun from SMTS broadcasting for LNR um, MSA Cup round 4 thank you to everyone that watched uh, on the live stream uh, Kennels, Dean, Dino uh, Punteng Man uh, Green Spider. Hope I didn't miss anyone out of that. Uh, it was uh, nice to watch this race. Uh, thanks everyone and see you in the next race. Goodbye.